hello guys welcome back to revit 2016 video tutorials in this video tutorial uh, we'll discuss about steel beams so if you see over here we have our steel columns from fourth floor to fifth floor, fifth floor level and now we are gonna have beams so as you see we are gonna have beams at fifth floor level so I'll make sure that I have selected fifth floor and now here you can see the beams there you go they are very little in size but since you will be the one who will be drawing so you can know that where are the columns present now I will go to beam over here I can select from the beams below or I can just uh, load family and in load family I will go to I will make sure I have US imperial and I will then I will go to structural framing and from here I will select steel then over here or you can select all any of these I will go to AISC and I will select W shapes and in W shapes I will select W14 by 109 since uh, that is the one I prefer for my design but this will be depending on the design of the building now since you have it you can select from midpoint to midpoint it kind of looks very big let's see it in 3d that is oh shit that's concrete beam never mind uh, let us select 14 by 109 and now let me go to fifth floor and damn it okay now well that looks something let us view it in 3d I mean can we view it here yeah. well there you go there's your beam never mind you can just uh, draw it so this should be fifth floor well now that you have selected all the beams now that you have designed done the, for all the beams you can view it in 3d there you go so in that way uh, we are gonna have our we are gonna have our building So by by the time uh, we I do my next video, I'll be done with the building with all the steel column signed beams, and in the next video and also the slabs and in the next video we might discuss I mean how to create a shaft opening 
for example for a lift yeah we'll do that thank you for watching the video